President Trump has taken a hardline stance on immigration from south of the border, including building a wall and possibly cutting off federal funds to so-called sanctuary cities. Uh, Trump's actions have many Latinos in the Treasure Valley worried about what it all could mean for them and their friends and families. Six on your side's Michael Severin spoke to the state's largest nonprofit that works with Latinos to see how they're reacting. With President Donald Trump in the White House, one emotion has washed over the clients at the Community Council of Idaho, fear. They're fearful of what's to be, and we are as well. CCI is the largest nonprofit in the state that works with Latinos, and they don't ask about their clients' immigration status. The nonprofit, which relies heavily on federal funds, offers a multitude of social services, including medical, housing, work placement, and education. With President Trump taking a hardline stance on immigration, a spokeswoman for CCI says many of their clients are worried about their families getting split up, since not all of them are here legally. I mean, as Americans, we respect our president, we respect the executive orders that he sent out, um, but we are fearful of what's to come, especially in our state of Idaho. For now, CCI doesn't know how the Trump administration will affect their social programs, but they're keeping a close eye on Washington. They are also working to offer immigration services in-house to offer a pathway for citizenship. What we're really concerned for is the rights of the individuals that are here um, and accounting for their needs. Michael Severin, six on your side. The Trump administration has not said they intend to deport all illegal immigrants. They have said that they will prioritize criminals, but the way the executive order is written, an illegal immigrant who has been just accused of a crime but could not be convicted could also be deported.